Hello everyone, welcome to my course. Uh, in this video I will show you how to model uh, foundation slabs and design strips quickly uh, from, help, uh, from uh, importing uh, from AutoCAD to CSI safe and uh, for this the first step is to uh, use the ETAP software because uh, our structure is modeled uh, in CSI ETAPs and uh, after that we uh, will export it to save for modeling foundation uh, okay yeah. after that uh, I will show you how to export this model as DXF uh, first you should select this icon column layout belong after that we will use uh, just a story one and uh, columns okay after that uh, we will use these two centimeters not important uh, every unit you will you like you can use show members center line show member section name okay and uh, by clicking on this icon uh, our DXF model from eTabs is generated okay this is my results. I want to model uh, this foundation, a strip foundation. For that, I should uh, create first. I should create these slabs in AutoCAD, and you know AutoCAD. I don't. I'm not uh, explaining. I will not explain it for you, just show the results. This is the results. Pay attention, these kind of slabs should model with P line command or rectangle command. Uh, just uh, it should be closed areas. Pay attention to this one. This is set to yes. It means this is a closed area. And the CSI safe just knows closed areas as a slabs and lines are not imported. okay so after that uh, you should create lines that uh, are strips design strips you know in CSI say when you want to model uh, design strips you should use this icon let me find it from draw design strips and for example this is this line is design strip okay just uh, in AutoCAD like this you should model some lines that are design strips for example this line is design strips and I modeled design strips from center lines from midpoints of these areas okay show and this 
red lines are design strips and pay attention for design strips you should fill all of the areas with design strips also these areas even if for example this area even if you don't like to create design strips in your final model in these areas but in this uh, model in AutoCAD you should uh, draw these lines because it helps uh, you to automate automatically and create design strips uh, in other uh, in uh, CSI save I will show you for example, in this area, I didn't draw design strips to show you what's the results. Okay, so just you need to draw areas as slabs and lines, uh, P lines. For example, this is P line. P lines that are not uh, not important to, to be close because they are lines but uh, they are created from P line command uh, as the strips okay so after that I want to open the model and import this file, this AutoCAD file to CSI save. Let me close it and save to DXF. Okay, it is it was save, saved. And I will import this of file of Lopra. And this is the file okay my units was centimeters you should set your unit for areas I had used a slab export layer for uh, that uh, foundation strips for layer strip A I set a strip A layer and the layer A uh, strip bits is not important just uh, select a layer for example I created let me show you I created a slab W layer that uh, it doesn't have any object in it just created to set in this part excuse me strip where is it okay I said text not important oh okay I choose the file incorrectly because it's project main final edition safe because that uh, it, it doesn't has had the layer okay import the XF file and this is the correct file again okay uh, it had uh, it has error because it's open again file import the XF file of floor plan project main final edition save centimeters areas 
Let's lap safe, okay. Let's strip A layer for layer A strips. Let's layer A strip widths. Strip W. Layer B strips. Strip B. Layer B strip widths. Again, strip W. And for floor property footing, uh, I had defined it in define footing, and uh, the uh, the other one is not important. Just footing, okay. And uh, save it to test one, and that's it. This is the results. These are the slabs. Let me show you. This slab, for example, is this slab. And for layer A, this cyan lines is layer A, strip A. And let me show you. Layer A, show it, and these are layer A, and for layer B, let me show you, these are layer B. and uh, the results is good but uh, you should pay attention if uh, the results was not good you can uh, use this icon to edit it for example for example if uh, after uh, importing the strips the result was like these you can select their strip A and B. Sometimes the result is like this. And after that, by edit a strip with auto with an entire strip. Apply. Okay. it doesn't work okay not important after that the second method is to select for example this strip and by the strip bits fifty five fifty five fifty five and fifty five okay and you should edit all of the strips like this okay like this for this this part doesn't edit okay I should use another method by like this segment 2 to 55, 55, 55, 55, okay, and uh, you can uh, edit all of the strips by this method, first you should select all of the strips if the results was not good, and uh, after that with auto you can uh, somehow edit uh, uh, some of them and after auto you can uh, handily edit uh, one by one uh, all of the design strips and uh, this is the results and you can uh, has uh, you can have the 
design strips and slabs quickly from modeling in AutoCAD and without using any uh, drawing options in uh, safe directly okay I hope uh, this video will help you to uh, create uh, and uh, modeling foundations more quickly and you can subscribe my channel and notify my new videos about CSI softwares like CSI ETAP, SAVE, SAP2000 and also AutoCAD. See you later. Thank you.